Hi Taurus, welcome back to Carmelite Readings. Happy birthday season, everybody. If you're new here, welcome. I am a Taurus as well, Sun, Moon, Mercury, and North Node. Um, this is a timeless reading. I am recording it at the end of April. If you guys are interested in buying a reading, candles, anything of that sort, you can go to my website for the entire Taurus season. Everything is 20% off on my site. Just use the code Taurus um, when you check out. So that link is in the description box below. We're going to go ahead and get started with my blessing and prayer and see what messages the Holy Spirit has for you. Mother, Father, God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, Lord Jesus, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Taurus in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception into any karmic cycles or soul lessons Taurus may currently be going through, about to go through, you need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Taurus, I think you're focusing too much on something. That's what Spirit is showing you. It's like you're really zoned in on something or you were getting lost or stuck in something consciousness okay so you were getting you were getting lost in your consciousness that actually kind of makes sense here so you're becoming aware you're gaining a lot of insight and wisdom on a situation here you may be dealing uh well maybe getting a new mindset here so you may be dealing with a, a great battle of thoughts beliefs perceptions yeah exhaustion okay so you're really yeah you're tired there's something going on in your thought realm here there's a battle in your mind. Letting go. All right. Eight of Cups energy here. You're needing to let go of some type of perception. Something that's really kind of taken its toll on you. I do feel like you've been patient through this process because you're going through phases, right? You've been going through a lot of phases within. Um, there's a lot of actions and thoughts and beliefs and perceptions that have happened in your life that I feel have really suppressed who you are as you, your true essence and your true self. And I don't think this is something that's surprising you. I actually think this is what you're working on right now is releasing those burdens. Yeah, any guilt or pain that you have trying to bring back um, light and peace and joy and fun and harmony into your life. Um, and you just seem to be at a phase right now where you're exhausted with everything that's going on around you, right? Because while life is still going on around you, you are dealing with a big major shift inside. Um, and so some of you may just be really tired. Maybe you're in the, in the mood to give up on something. But know that it's because you're about to become aware of something. Some type of wisdom is about to be bestowed upon you. A higher level, a higher consciousness, a higher understanding, a higher perception. All right, so let's take a look here. We're going to take a look at the current energy of the situation around you. Okay, you have the Ten of Swords. Let's look at the past of the situation, please. The Ace of Pentacles. Your current energy, Taurus, is the Four of Swords. Outside energy or person, their feelings and intentions towards you. Wow, is the Sun. And then look at the bottom, Two of Cups. Somebody is wants you, they love you. Your challenge here is the Queen of Swords. Huh. And the outcome is the three of wands. You have the lovers on the bottom. There's something that uh, you're waiting for, that you're manifesting, 
but it's taking time because you're still going within. There's still some sort of inner work, inner wisdom, inner knowledge, inner growth that needs to take place. Somebody wants to make you an offer, Taurus, but they're not ready yet. And there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of fear that this, this person is really scared that by the time they're grown, because I have the I have the page and then the king and then the emperor. So it's like this person is worried that you're not going to wait for them to grow, or that by the time they're they release their burdens or whatever it is that they need to get rid of and work on, right, in their life or however they're viewing it. Because that's what they, they, they have some things that they need to address and work on and clear out in their life, but I feel also kind of within. And they're they're smart enough and wise enough to know that. Okay, so this is a specific collective. This person watches you though. There's something about you, Taurus, that has inspired this person to to pick up where they've left off in their life. And they're wanting to work on it and they're wanting to show you that they're, they've changed. They're wanting to show you that they can be better. Because see, the Page of Pentacles is here and that's too big for him. And in the past, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So there may have been someone here who offered something that they couldn't actually handle in the past, okay? You're in this state right now of feeling very defeated and down or you recently were. Yeah, see, the fool wants to come out because this is how cycles end and close. You're releasing emotional baggage. You're releasing trauma. You're releasing pain. You're releasing all of these moments where you felt betrayed and stabbed in the back because you have the fool here. So this wasn't currently why things may be all over the place and difficult is because you're in the process of releasing a lot of emotional baggage and burdens you're being set free you're releasing and surrendering to the divine here with the fool yeah king of pentacles there also could be some type of new opportunity um in your business money finances coming in but also commitments clarify please could be dealing with another earth sign high priestess There's an offer that you're unaware of that's coming towards you. Could be dealing with a water sign too. You have the King of Cups here with the lovers. There's something here, current energy, like things are ending for you. You're cutting off situations that aren't aligned with you. So I don't know, this is a really specific message. I don't know if some of you like, had a new offer or a new opportunity and then it got shut down like you decided this wasn't for you and you shut it down or there could have been something here also with work that i'm seeing that this that may have ended and someone's coming back around with a new offer whatever it is it's celebratory and it has the sun okay yeah in the past you have the ace of pentacles there was a really promising offer on the table, something that was really exciting, but the four of pentacles was here. See what I'm saying? They Somebody promised more than they could bargain. Wheel of fortune. They learned a lesson because there was loss here. There was some type of loss. Somebody got left. There was, even though they promised so much, it they showed up so short. There was a lot of lack. They were unable to really open up or release certain things to even allow that opportunity to expand and grow the way that it needed and it could have been love. So what started out as something so promising ended up getting really, really stuck and there seemed there was some type of struggle here in learning the lesson or allowing the lesson to take place. And I feel like there's a person here who may have come back after kind of disappearing on you, Taurus. And you, you you communicate with this person, but not a lot. That's specific as well. You're showing up as the Four of Swords. You're going over a lot of things in your thought realm. 
four of cups, eight of swords. Don't get stuck there. Don't get stuck there because what you're going over in your mind doesn't exist anymore. It's all in the past. It's done and it's over. And I feel like you might be replaying something over and over because there's this offer here and you just don't want to get stuck. You don't want to get blinded. You don't want to get wrapped around into a cycle again. But yet I also see you very isolated and alone. So this is a collective that I feel like isn't really going out. You're, you're going through judgment and it's not bad. You have to let it happen because I feel like what's going to happen for you is a breakthrough. This judgment is you releasing any thoughts or perceptions that have been holding you back. That's why you have letting go. Clarify, please, for Taurus, their current energy. Meditation. Oh, wow, you have two cards. Seven of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. There is someone here who wants to apologize and make things right, but you are, there's so much fear inside of you about, or anxiety about making the wrong decision. You just, and, and so I feel like you're pulling back, you're going through this energy of, I don't know if I want to be around anyone, whose energy can I trust? Everything seems like it's not meeting you at your level. And I think that's causing you a lot of confusion. Some of you may be starting something new as well. Okay, because some type of offer is coming towards you. Outside energy and their intentions towards you, Taurus is the sun. That's the best card in the whole deck. And that's how this person views you. You light up this person's life. There's something that you've created for this person in their life that's changed that's changed them. Yeah, the star. You're a healer and you don't even realize it. You've brought so many things to light for this person. You've brought so many things to understanding for this person. And I don't even feel like this is just one person. I feel like this is multiple people. There's the struggle that you're dealing with, Taurus, has to do with low self-worth. And it has to do with anything that you've experienced in your life that made you feel less than and really understanding and deciphering that, it, you know, every people make mistakes and they project and they don't even know they're projecting. And especially as children, we absorb it. But there's some type of light that you shine on people, Taurus, or that you help shine for people that brings in a great deal of divine wisdom and healing. Okay. And for some reason, you don't see yourself that way. But this person does. Clarify, please. The star also in the sun. Somebody could be in the spotlight here. Okay, you could do something in the spotlight, Taurus. You have the Knight of Cups. They want to come towards you so bad. This person wants to offer you their cup of love. Yep, the Ace of Wands. They want to come towards you. They have a passionate offer towards you, a new beginning. But then again, look at this. Five of wands, five of pentacles, ten of cups, eight uh, temperance, and then the eight of cups. They want to come towards you, but there's a little bit of conflict still within them. Could also be other people that are getting in the way, like family, okay, there could be something that's getting in the way of this person or it just also could be this person doesn't feel worthy because they hold you in very high regard, Taurus. They hold you in very high regard. But there is some type of message offer that they want to give to you, that they want to bring in. Your challenge is a queen of swords. There may be a difficulty in communicating with one another. Like one of you may have a sharper way of talking, um, right? Somebody may feel less emotional than the other person, okay? And that creates some type of conflict here. Yeah, the lovers. There could also be another person involved here. Let's see, six of pentacles, seven of wands, five of swords. There could be somebody trying to get in between you, but again, it's like, I don't know why some this communication is kind of coming off as defensive.
and maybe someone else kind of comes off as argumentative because their speech, their communication is empty. What they say is, is showing up as empty and that's, that's, a, that's a concern. So it could be somebody who was lying to your person or lying about you or there's somebody around you that isn't telling the truth but it's affecting the mindset. Clarify please, what is this about? One card please. Why is this a challenge? The Eight of Cups. I think it's walking away from another person. This person may need to walk. Yeah, they have to end something in order to take action towards you. Ten of Swords, the world, Eight of Cups. You guys could also live at a distance from one another. And it's like, again, they're needing to step away from something. They're needing to end something or walk away from something. Could even be a perception or an addiction that they have that they need to fully fight and battle and get rid of before they can come towards you. All right. The outcome of this situation is the three of wands. So I do see you waiting patiently for any shifts to come in. I feel like you've been manifesting something specific. It is on its way to you after a period of silence and work. It's definitely work because you got Hermit and the Eight of Pentacles. So somebody's working on themselves, I feel, for you. And this person is worried that maybe you're not going to wait. Yeah, here it is, the King of Wands. They're coming in to bring stability. Queen of Cups coming in. Nine of Wands. They're so nervous. I'm connecting to a collective where this is somebody from your past. This is somebody you already know. Okay, they have a lot of hesitations about this connection but they are willing to come in you could be dealing with Sagittarius or Scorpio but they're willing to come in and try to bring balance to a situation and transform it eight of pentacles again right they want to work on something they've seen something from a higher perception and they they've gone through a transformation they're not the same person anymore this is somebody who's not the same person but for some reason they're still waiting like there, the divine is still keeping you in a position of waiting because you're needing to let go of some type of fear, anxiety, or something that's keeping you in a space of either low self-worth or not thinking that you're worthy of getting what you've asked for. That's your spiritual quest right now, Taurus. And this person seems to be working through fears of self-worth too, right? They're growing as well. They're going through some type of transformation, but they're going to come towards you. It's just taking time. And I see the fear that they're worried that you're going to be long gone and moved on by the time they come back. All right, Taurus, sending you much love. Bye.